let us take this slide very seriously. Honorable members, the bill will facilitate regulation of the teaching profession by following certain actions of action, coercion. The definition of coercion is this. Persuading someone to do something by use of force or threats. So you are creating a bill to be passed by this committee where you are going to use teachers by coercion, persuading, threats, and you add on through requiring or prohibiting certain behaviors of the teachers and creating institutions to regulate teachers. So you are going to create Shiboko Squad. You are going to create anti-corruption, what? Anything, caning teachers. So you want this parliament to pass a bill where you are going to use coercion. Whenever you are drafting a law, there is a vice you are trying to control. But the bill does not give you powers to use threats and force on an individual as an institution. Because even the court doesn't do that. So Mr. Chairman, that is very key on this bill. And here we are, the bill is coming from the minister who is preparing to prepare Kibo, other DCs, hmm? DPCs, everybody to go and cane the teachers, to threaten them. And you think you will get products from teachers who are teaching under duress? Oh my God. Mr. Chairman, uh, if we go to uh, the, the, the word unethical, insufficient standardized teachers to the facilities. The challenge is not on teachers. It is on you as government. If teachers enter classes which are not painted, which have not been repaired, which are leaking, which are blown off by, uh, by rain, the roofs, the problem is not on them. It is on you. If a teacher in Uganda is wearing shoes without two soles, is wearing a shirt torn, on the collar, it is on government because the remuneration and payments salaries are not favorable. There are options to look for the last quality of clothes, you know, we know. So you are telling them to be unethical. Go and read the Sekamwa's book. Then, Mr. Chairman, on page three, again slide six, licensing and institutional teachers.